Hi everyone, Amy Love here and I'm coming on today with another project for Angel Dream Crafts and I was so excited to work on this project but it's really hot in my craft room and I have the fan going so hopefully you can't hear it or it doesn't interfere too much with the sound but I need it. It's just hot. It's a hot hot day. So I bought these little wooden um, frames at the Catholic thrift store and there were all three of them for a dollar um, and I was like okay yes I want to do something with that and then um, I went ahead and spray painted them white because I knew whatever I was going to do I was going to need them to be white and then I got inspired by these let me see if I can find one I printed off yeah I do I have one these little angel images and they are from let me see I have the website forever cute us I think is how it goes anyway they're on Etsy and I'll put a link below but I fell in love with these angels I mean I just adore them and they have like uh, some blue and gold and pink in the backgrounds so I got out my sprays, which I hardly ever do, and I had a good time. So I sprayed with a pink and a blue, and then with like a cream shimmer mist, and then I went over it uh, with a dry brush with and made streaks with my Magic Opal. What is this stuff called? Let me grab it, it's right here, so I can see. Let me tell you what I got here. It is Opal Magic is what I used and it's the rose gold so I just used a dry brush and made streaks um, all over the frame so you can see those little gold streaks and I also put some gold in the background of the uh, images themselves with that same opal magic it's just so pretty it's just so pretty so um, I put a uh, cardstock in the back because I had to paint the cardstock too because the picture, you know, didn't go all the way over. So uh, that's what's there. And then I put some uh, gimp trim, Chinese braid, to kind of hold that in place even though it is glued down. But it also kind of finishes it off nice, right? So, so pretty. So I love, love how these turned out. They're just adorable it was so fun to play and get my hands dirty so cute so I love actually how the frame turned out I think it's beautiful and it matches the image background so wonderfully so after I made the uh, background I put the image on top and then I glued it in and then I added rhinestone cup chain which this one is in pink you can get pink and um all kinds of colors actually at Angel Dream Crafts. So she has all kinds of colors of rhinestone cup chain and I like to put rhinestone cup chain on everything, every single thing. Now she got this fun trim, this, I, I'm i sure it was in a DT package, I'm sure. Um, and it has, it's pink with the gold stars. And so I used just a little bit of it because I don't want to use too much of it. I'm trying to make it go a long way. And this was actually perfect. And I put, I backed it up with some of the turquoise uh, pleated tool trim because um, I just thought it's so cute like that. And then I added the, the sequin dangle and then this really pretty uh, pearl dangle that I got from Angel Dream Crafts. I love these. They're the small ones. So they hang the way I want them to and they're easy to work with love them and so then I added some sprays to the background uh, some of these sprays came from Hobby Lobby some of them came from Edith Murphy let me see if I can there she goes that's much better but the beautiful flowers came from Angel Dream Crafts all of them and there are some different flowers um, on the others and I'll show you but all the flowers in this project are from Angel Dream Crafts this amazing butterfly bling i love love it that's from angel dream crafts so this um project got a little bling alicious but i am not sorry about it i think it's so cute so i made a bow out of sorry silk and then i popped on one of these gorgeous bling pieces from kim's shop and i stickled up the little angel a little bit so there's that one and originally I was gonna like hang them all on a ribbon and so they'd all be together, but then they just got a little much. 
<laughs> so now I'm just going to put them separately in my Etsy store. But here is another flower, little different flowers from Angel Dream Crafts, but everything else is the same. But here's the image for this one. Love it. And then here is the last one and I kind of I didn't fasten the the tails of the bows in. they kind of just tuck and are movable you know so however you want to do the bows you can right but don't you love the image these images are so cute and I was about these frames from the beginning as soon as I saw them I knew I knew I wanted to play with them and so I hope that you like them. Uh, I enjoyed so much making them. And of course, I'll have a link to my Etsy store if you're interested in purchasing one. But I also have a link below to Kim's shop and to all the designers that are on the team. And I'm also going to pop a link to the two guest designers we have going right now. We're so excited to um, have them guest designing for us. So thank you so much, Nicola and Marie. We're very happy to have you. And I hope that you're all having a great day. Don't forget to leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And I will see everybody on the next one. Bye, everybody.